Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. I'm here with Curtis from My Designs, longtime friend of the channel, and he's got updates to share with us for the My Design software. Hopefully, you guys have been using it. Uh, there is a free tier, and uh, there's just so many, so many things that you can basically outsource to the software. And now Curtis has got even more updates for us, so I can't wait to see what he's got to share with us. What's up, Curtis? Hey, what's up, Brian? Thanks for having me on. And yeah, we have quite a few, quite a few new updates, so I'm excited to go over those today. Yeah, man. Um, if you want to kind of just share the <laughs> what they are and uh, how we can utilize them, I think that sounds awesome. Also, you mentioned that there's some new products going live. I know we love uh, expanding our catalog of offerings with yep. products, so that's that's exciting. Yeah, we have. Uh, so this week we're going to release uh, magnets, like fridge mag magnets, um, bumper stickers, and a few more comfort color products, like the, the sweatshirt and hoodie. And then um, we should also have Printful complete this week. And of course, they have a catalog of over 300 products. I believe it's 300-ish. So that will allow us to tap into a lot of new products. So that's exciting. We start onboarding those into my designs over the coming weeks and offer a lot more products soon. Nice. And you had a couple enhancements to your AI tool as well? Yeah. Yeah. Dream AI had a huge update. Uh, not just UI, but actual like the model, the base model that you can generate images from is much better. So I'd love to show that today. We have upscaling built in. It's only 4x, and then eventually it'll be 8x. But then also background removal, so you kind of can do everything within my designs. It's really cool. Yeah, man, I look forward to seeing it. Um, if you can screen share, that would be amazing, and kind of show us some of these features. I I was gonna say one of the most common comments that I've seen in some of my videos recently is something that I think a lot of people utilizing these AI tools have come across, which is the need for an upscaler. So it's awesome that you guys found a way to build that in. Yeah. Yeah. And it's going to get better too. It's actually pretty good. So when you upscale traditionally, if it's pixel based, you know, it'll pixelate the image. Uh, now with these AI upscalers, it actually increases the quality versus like downgrading it. So you increase the quality, you get a higher resolution, which is great for print. So yeah, we'll, we'll touch on that. Can you see my screen? Yeah. You ready to share? Yeah. If you're ready, okay. let's do yeah. it. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. I'm excited, man. By the way, I was thinking everybody of doing a uh, one year on my designs sales update video. If you guys are interested to uh, hear my progress, let me know in the comments. And I, if I get enough people interested, maybe I'll do that video. Uh, that'd be awesome. That'd be a great video. <clears throat> All right. So I'm on, uh, I'm on the listings page. Let me go over to Dream AI. So the most important things here is now we have a styles feature. So you can pick between certain styles. If you don't understand like prompting, then this helps a lot. Because you can just say, for instance, digital art, really popular style. Uh, in this case, I have, you know, I'm going to generate six images. We did have this aspect ratio slider too. And I'm going to associate like a product icon with this. So you can say, okay, this is aspect ratio for t-shirts, stickers, et cetera. So that'll make it easy for you to generate that base image with the right aspect ratio. So that when you upscale it, you can easily place it on products. So just to just to zoom out really quickly too, because I know sometimes people think like, oh, my designs, it's so good, but I'm scared to learn it. Like, all you've done so far theoretically is open a free account, right? Yeah. Like theoretically and clicked dream AI in the sidebar. That's it. You know what I mean? So hopefully yeah, exactly. nobody's overwhelmed. All right. This is all we've done so far. Yeah. And you can do that right now. You sign up for a free account and go to dream AI and you can run some prompts. It's pretty cool. cool. I just wanted to mention that, you know what I mean? Cause it's like, I, it, it, there's so much functionality, but I love that you guys did make it accessible, intuitive. And I mean, the UI, I think it's as few clicks as possible for most of the functionality I've seen. Yeah, and it's getting better. We're really simplifying the UI because we built such a powerful tool. And one of the hard parts is like learning how to just simplify that uh, for the average user. So we've been working on that and it's an ongoing uh, process, which we'll continue to do. But yeah, it's definitely getting easier to easier to use every week. Awesome. Um, so yeah, so right here you have models to choose from. These are the older models we had, but the SDXL beta is, is quite good. So that's the one that's by default. I recommend that. You have advanced settings. Don't really need to touch on this because it's good at the base settings, but Basically, just put in a prompt. So in this case, I have a rabbit portrait wearing suit, tie, and sunglasses, and highly detailed. So I'm gonna I'm gonna change. Well, I'll just do another digital art. Got six images to generate. So that's dreaming, and I can actually go and change the style while that's going. Let's try fantasy art. Let another one because you can do this in parallel, so you don't have to wait for one to finish. Oh, nice. So this okay. this is done now. Um, and one thing I wanted to show, I'll generate a few more of these. Let me change this to my dog. Cocker, Stan, uh, Cocker Spaniel dog portrait. So you can see how easy, you don't even need long extended prompts anymore. You can actually use really simple prompts. Um, okay. Again, I have that digital art style selected. So I'll run that and maybe I'll go with my other dog. Got a schnauzer. And what, what this is illustrating is that like 
you know, it's one thing to sit there for an hour, just kind of coming up with designs and tweaking them yourself. And, but you don't have to, <laughs> like, it's not required. Yeah. You can do a lot with these um, unique, like digital AI generated graphics as well. Yeah. And, and it's funny, I've been, uh, you know, testing my designs and testing this, this new model and then pl placing them on products, stickers and mugs primarily and t-shirts as well. And yeah, it's crazy how fast I'm starting to get sales on these products. Uh, and the okay. reviews are starting to come in and people love them. So there you it's, go. it's really getting that easy. Um, and I'll show you why and a few other features we have built in. So I'm going to grab, I like to use this portrait, by the way, in the prompt, because it usually gives like a close up of like a face, like a portrait shot. So it works really well in cases like this. So if I like, let's say these three images, maybe I'll grab this bottom right. Um, I'm in this demo collection up here. So you can adjust your collections here where you want to save this. I'll leave it in the demo collection. And then we have an upscaler. It's a 4X upscaler and I'll place it just in the default file slot. So I just hit create four listings. It'll take these, they're at 512 pixels by 512 and upscale them by 4X and increase the quality awesome. at the same time. So that, that's happening in the background. I'm gonna grab a few more of these. Let's grab... So with the 4X upscaler, they're pretty much ready for coffee mugs, even t-shirts at that point, right? Yeah, Five coffee mugs, five. stickers, any of the smaller products that don't require a huge print file. You can actually put them on t-shirts, but you probably won't want on. You wouldn't I mean, want to for the t-shirt, right? Yeah. And when yeah. we have the 8X upscaler, you'll easily be able to place these on t-shirts, et cetera. Got you, got you. So I don't, did I save these ones? I don't know if I did. I'm going to click that. You can see like, let's grab a few of these. <laughs> it, it's, it, it's crazy because I could add, um, you know, I could adjust the prompt and add if I wanted the glasses to reflect a certain, let's say graphic is anything. You could kind of adjust that and it does a really good job. You can have the glasses reflect something? Yeah, you can try. It's not perfect every time, <laughs> but yeah, you can kind of control like reflecting like the, let's say the skyline of New York City or anything like that. It's it's pretty accurate. And like, in fact, we'll just try it on this one real quick. I go up here. <laughs> this is next level. But there could be there could be some like specific thing that you could reflect in the glasses that converts like that customers want. You know what I mean? If yeah, you stumble exactly. across it, that could lead to a bunch of sales. And uh, we have out painting and in painting coming in, so we can actually edit the images. Uh, this is this one didn't do a good, very good job. Let me change it to let's try fantasy art. Some of the other styles will do a better job of it, mm -hmm. but in the prompt, I'd have to probably adjust, but it, it gets pretty good. These okay. ones aren't really doing it. I trust you. I trust you. I mean, it's all right. And I, I appreciate you sharing the the suggestion for portrait as well. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. And I'm going to actually make a list on our community uh, of different types of prompts you could run that would be specific for print on demand um, and even digital products too. So I'm going to go save a few more of these. Let's see. These ones I think I generated beforehand. And now that those are saving, I'm just going to actually go over to the listings page. But you can play with this all day. I'll actually go and change the style real quick. I'm going to go back to digital art and show you another example. Yeah, this is where it gets crazy because you're getting into like real life stuff. And yeah, like AI, AI, <laughs> the AI just makes like a stylized version of it instantly. Yeah, it's it's, it's actually, yeah, it's fun. I'm going to change the aspect ratio on this. I'll get more of the... Uh, horizontal look and I'll go the other way as well. Yeah, that's crazy. Some of these are like, so cool. Yeah. This is just like a digital art style. And you know, some of these putting them on stickers, you add like a nice frame around it. It yeah. you can, they'll they'll work well, but get an idea of how that works. It's and you could scale that out to other national parks, taking key landmarks within the park, which I've experimented with. It works really well. But I'm gonna go over to the listings page because I saved those other uh, items here. So you can see, let me change this to the uh, grid view. So I got these images here. You can see how easy. And these are all now, yeah, 2048 by 2048 pixels. So this is where, you know, traditionally you had to have some background removal tool like Canva has it built in, but you have to do it one by one. Uh, and they're usually quite expensive. Right now, this is completely free. Um, you can just go to our more action. So I selected all 10 of these. And then under image utility, we have this remove background now. So I could generate a preview. I want to just kind of see what that looks on one of these. You see, it does a really good job. I'm gonna actually just place that. I'll place it in this file slot. Dude, and the people at remove.bg hate you. Giving this <laughs> yeah. <away> for free. <laughs> Their whole business model yeah. is removing backgrounds for a cause. Yeah, it is. That's what Canva, Canva actually owns them. They are acquired them. Oh yeah. Um, that's yeah. what they use in Canva. Yeah, is remove.bg. But this is this does just as good of a job in a lot of cases. In other cases, it probably won't be quite as good as remove.bg, but it does a really good job. So you can check these out. So these are all background removed. So another example, let's say I wanted to take this and uh, sell it on stickers. I'm gonna go to mockups, stickers. Let me find the die cut sticker. Here we go. 
I'll make, make sure I change that input file slot to the one that has a transparent background. I'm not going to generate a preview. I'll just post this. So for what it's worth, like you've you've created your free My Designs account. You went to Dream AI, put a prompt in. Like it's just like it's it may seem like this is crazy, this is too much, but but for real, you haven't even done that much. No, not like, at you've all. Gone to a couple different sections, you save some of them, you use the upscaler, you use the remove background tool, which is a couple clicks, and now you're going to the mock-up generator. Like this yeah. is this is you guys could be following along in real time and doing this with us. Like it's, yeah, for real. Yeah, it's accessible. It's, it's that easy now. <clears throat> and getting easier. But yeah, yeah, so in this, this case is generated, uh, you know, a sticker mock-up. Another example, let me generate one more sticker mock-up. Let's see. I'm going to go with the holographic one. These are these are really popular. Uh, let's put that. Reminds me of like Pokemon cards. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for real. And, uh, and I've tested these stickers. I have some here, actually. They're they're awesome. They're, they're my favorite. They're, they're better in person than mock -ups. I know a couple people doing real well uh, with just stickers, like, you know what I mean? Just sticker shops on Etsy, but they're like self-fulfilling or like manually. Yeah. Fulfilling. Yep. The stickers are the bigger than you think. Like Redbubble, I think they they sell more stickers than anything. Uh, they, yeah, they do really that. well there. Um, while that's generating, I'm going to show you another example. I'm going to go to the Canvas system. And we have a templates built in. So I mean, it's like that, like the 11 ounce white mug. Change the input file to that transparent background and just fit vertical. And just duplicate this. Move that over, right? So I get that double-sided print on the front and the back of the mug and then click sync down here because I have 10 listings selected. So that way, when I rotate through this, you can see that that's all done. Um, I'm going to just so save fit that. vertical, duplicate, manually adjust. Makes sense. Yeah. And then I'm just creating a file slot, naming it 11 ounce mug print file to uh, just apply. And this is, uh, this is really quick. By the way, we made a lot of breakthroughs with our infrastructure so you can see how fast some of these things process create thousands of print files in like 10, 15 seconds in some cases. Um, it's, it's getting really, really good. But let me move to this. So you can see the, the, print the edge now. that people who choose to get in here and like become comfortable are going to have over everybody else is insane. You know, yeah, I, I agree. we've been I'm saying sure. that, but like you keep, you keep getting better. You know what I mean? Most companies move so slow. You guys are just crushing it with how fast you integrate new functionality. Yeah. And I always have to give props to our engineering team. They're so good. Those guys are phenomenal. Philip and the rest of them, they're great. And yeah, they work. They work fast. They work hard. Um, yeah, so now I got these right. I got a die cut sticker. Got a holographic sticker. And by the way, if you double click a file slot now, it just it makes it the active slot across your entire collection. So you can easily just nice. preview things. And oh, that's print, a good idea. Then the print file, um, that's here. So I'm going to now go to mockups and use that print file. Let me go to drinkware, 11 ounce white mug. So let me choose... We'll go with this one. And these are all free mockups that we're seeing right now? Yeah, everything in here is free. It's part of the mockup generator, yep. Nice. Because I oh. asked, because anybody who didn't know, you can upload your own custom mockups. But <laughs> with with this many mockups in here, you probably don't even have to. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Let's see. I'll say mug mockup. Again, I just made that input file, the, the print file I created with the Canvas system earlier, because that's what you want with this mug. That way you get a realistic placement on the mug. And when it prints, it's going to be as close to that mockup as possible. So let that generate. Dude, that's crazy. Yes, yeah, so that is done. Let me show you this. Make Look at that, me. guys. <laughs> and of course, if you wanted to, the, the black mug is slightly different, like the uh, print dimensions. I don't know why. But, um, so I'll create another print file for this. Change the input. Because I want to show you on both mugs. I like to just duplicate that, put it up, and then control shift arrow key over. That way it's aligns to the right there. Always sync it if you want to apply it to all listings. You guys even already tackled the keyboard hotkeys, man. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> does it work both directions too? Yeah, yeah, it does. And it actually shows you down here kind of what you can do. Okay. Little little tip there. Nice. So I'm gonna create a file slot to store this one in because I want to generate a a mug mockup or a black mug mockup too, so you can see the contrast. Because other multi-product listing, you can actually add both of these to the same listing on Etsy. A little flex there. Yeah. Because yes, <laughs> my finds does make it easy to do the multiple product listings as well. You know how you guys can offer like a shirt and a mug in the same listing. I mean it's rare, but you know. Yeah. I am actually gonna do a different one here. And this, by the way, is the background. This is just a color because this mock-up supports background. So I'm gonna go with that blue color I from the demo. Uh, let's change that to the mug print file. Black mug mockup. That way I'd store those in that file slot and let that generate real quick. And then you can compare the two. 
And then of course I could go through and generate the 15 ounce versions too. And then on what I usually do when I'm selling mugs on Etsy is I just create these mockups ahead of time and then use multi-product publishing and put the 11 ounce and 15 ounce white mugs and black mugs on the same listing. So now you have four products under one listing on Etsy. Yep. Save your money. Don't let them nickel and dime you for 20 cents. <laughs> yeah. So in this sense, we got a you know a black mug, a black mug mock-up. This one has the front and back. You know, there's, there's a bunch of different mock-ups you can choose from within the library. But I just it shows you how quickly you can just generate AI generated images, upscale them, remove backgrounds, put them on products, put them for sale. Um, and that dream AI is doing much better every week. It gets better. And the complement to this, of course, is the Fraser AI, right? You can generate oh, yeah, the yeah. Uh, AI leveraged like title description. Yeah, let me, let me uh, touch on that, actually. I'll just show you. I'm just going to put in a very basic keyword. This is what I was most excited about, just because like that was where I was struggling to to be effective. Like I knew I was losing effectiveness in the listings I was creating prior to the Fraser AI, because I was trying to figure out ways to like integrate the primary keyword without going too long. And you know what I mean? It, it just was, there's a lot of variability and sacrifices were made, you know, yeah. in the interest of time. But now with the Fraser AI, it's like significantly better. <laughs> yeah, and I'm gonna show you that. So I just put in, these are very basic keywords. Like this one has rabbit wearing sunglasses on all the rabbit ones. But then I, and this one, I'm just gonna keep it like dog just so you can see the difference. So let's go try that out. Have all 10 of these selected. Let me move this back to listings. And then Fraser AI is our, basically our AI and it's trained on Etsy data, best-selling Etsy data. So it kind of understands what a best-selling product title, description, and tags look like. So you can essentially just do this in bulk. I'm gonna map the keyword field, which I place those in the primary keyword. Let's say I wanna generate the title and tags place those in the in the tag field in this case i'm going to do uh let's go mugs 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 there it is and then just hit submit this is usually really i know quick. i said it last time but i love that you <laughs> have a drop down for the product type there because i used to have, i used to make like a separate variable for the product type and yeah that's a good idea yeah I and mean, we, we're going to add more and more products too but as you can see in this case That's pretty darn good. Rabbit wearing sunglasses mug, rabbit mug, rabbit gift, rabbit lover gift, rabbit owner gift, rabbit fan gift, rabbit <laughs> fan mug. Yeah, I mean. Let's go down and check the, uh, these ones. Yeah, here we go. Cocker Spaniel mug, Cocker Spaniel gifts, Cocker Spaniel mug, dog owner gifts for women, personalized dog mug, dog mom gift, Cocker's cup. So it's not perfect, but it's it's yeah. darn near. It's like 90%. Yeah, and that's that's why I tell everybody that uses this. Don't like just generate with phrase or AI and then go publish. Use it to get your base like data and then go through and modify that with your own expertise, your own knowledge, your own keywords. It just gets to like 80, 90% of the way done and then you can improve it from there. But it gives you a lot I mean, of good ideas quickly. And it will get better, by the way, as we train on more data. This is, but this is already like significantly, someone who's squeezed for time like myself, right? Like this is significantly better than what I had, you know? Yeah. Without yeah, it, prior to it existing, you know? So I, I'm still a huge fan. Like I would use it as is and just move on because I mean, Got to do my daily YouTube videos, right? So I only have so much <laughs> <Yeah>. time. <laughs> yeah, got a lot going on. So, and it is, it's going to put you in a better spot than most listings, honestly. And, and that's not always the case with every listing, but depending on the input keyword you give it, it's you can get some really good data. No, that's awesome. But yeah, so essentially I could just add a description and go publish these. Let's get the idea there. Um, I'm going to show you the video mockups. This is new and it's very basic right now. It's more like a slideshow with subtle transitions between the images. And I don't have a lot of mockups. I got four of them that'll do. So I'm gonna select all 10 of these, go to video mockups. So now I could choose uh, basically the mockups I wanna create this video file with. I don't want the print files. Or Not the print right. files. Yeah, so uncheck the print files, guys. <laughs> yeah, don't want, I mean, you, you don't wanna use your print files in there. And I'm just gonna name the video slot. Just say video. So this is interesting. I didn't think about that, but if you do combine like stickers and coffee mugs in one listing, you can feed both into the the video generator. Yeah, and what I what I usually do is like it's t-shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies on one listing. I take all those mockups and generate the the video, and then like mugs are usually their own listing and stickers their own listing. But I would generate a lot more sticker mockups. You could preferably yeah. you'd have like six to ten mockups to create the video with, but you don't have to. In this case, I'll just use these four, and uh, it's a little slow because of videos, but when that's done, I'll show it to you. Cool, man. Yeah, I've seen at least like the ones you sent me and uh, that's awesome. Yeah, in fact, while we're waiting for that, I'm gonna move to a different collection and show you the CSV import feature. We just released that today. And uh, guys, just keep in mind, like any video is better than no video, number one. Number two, when you see the video it generates, using those mockups, as long as you have good mockups, 
again, it's leveraging those to make the video. So they'll hover over and then they'll get that like animated. You guys know what I'm talking about. You browse Etsy on desktop, you hover over, you get the animated, uh, whatever, really it's just whatever video the listings have, but it, it's really cool. I, I mean, I liked how you did it. I honestly thought it was perhaps even like the optimal approach. Yeah, I think it is because if you have really high quality mockups on your listing and like you say, if some like a customer's browsing the search page on Etsy, they hover over your listing, then they'll be able to like rotate through those mockups in a, in a really subtle and clean way. Mm -hmm. So they can see it and then hopefully pull them into the listing itself to purchase the product. But, and we're going to build a bunch of other types of templates that have different transition effects, but this is just the start. Um, so I'm going to touch on the CSV import because if you like, if you're a Merch Titans automation user and you're, you know, you're uploading hundreds, if not thousands of products a day to Merch by Amazon using Merch Titans automation, uh, it's not just Merch Titans automation, but it's a good example. You can just basically import your CSV files right into my designs now up to 2000 at a time. We'll call it the old school way, right? Yeah, the old school way. <laughs> And, uh, and a lot of people prefer to set up their data in Excel or Google Sheets. And then that's it's really nice because it's super powerful, super easy if you're good at it and very um, very advanced, like what you can do there. But in this case, let me go up to the parent folder. So really just have a parent folder and this is MD demo. And I have my designs in here. I have a, like a care card essentially, just kind of show an example of importing two files at once. Um, you can do videos too, but all to keep this simple. So in the Excel spreadsheet, this uh, CSV spreadsheet, Basically, just link your, your file. So this is my primary design. And then link the uh, photo card file. And then I just input my data here. And you can map any of these fields. So whatever your collection field that you like, have from the collection of my designs and the template, you can map all this data properly, however you want. And the photo card file is just extra just to show that you can pair it with another image, right? Yeah, exactly. So this isn't a good example for like real listings, but to show the CF CSV import, I think it's perfect. So yeah, now the average person gonna... watching probably won't do this, but I'm just, you know what I mean? Not to, yeah. you know, cause everything you've shown so far is like real easy, intuitive, easy to follow this part. I'm not saying it's not great. I'm just saying that like anybody on the outside looking in, that's like, oh no, now I need to learn Excel. It's like, no, you don't have to learn Excel. This no, is no. an alternative. Yeah. You can just drag and drop designs into a collection. That's the easy way. Yeah. And then just set up the data. But if you're a more of a power seller and you want to do bulk listings and upload them into my designs, generate mockups in bulk, et cetera, this will save you a ton of time. So Basically, I just selected that folder that contained the CSV file and the designs, and then I'm going to choose the CSV file I want because there's two in there. And you can map the files here to the file slots in this collection. Titles, descriptions, tags, you can map all these fields. And then I'll go primary and secondary keyword, and then just get a preview, basically, of your, your CSV spreadsheet. So I just hit upload. And now that'll go through and import all these designs. With yeah, the so it's literally uploading data. from his computer. Yeah. yeah. Each, each listing is going to have two photos. Um, two to images. And of course, again, if you had videos, you're going to place it or wherever. This is another way if you want to just create an Excel and import it this way. There's a lot of possibilities with it, but it is a little more advanced. It's more for power sellers that have a lot of listings they want to sell. Can you import into, like, if you did have like videos that you just made and place it for existing, um, like, I don't want, like listings in um, my designs, like, would that work? Can you tie them to existing or only if you create yeah. new? If you download the file and just put it in the folder and then map it, just like you, when I say map, copy the file path. Then yeah, mm -hmm. you can import it that way. Or if you have like would a generic it, video. Would it create new listings though in my designs? Or is it possible to like like you have these right now? Can you then use a, a uh, like a CSV import to add oh, video to this? Not yet. That's coming though. That'll be the next that'll be the next version of CSV import is you could just export, for instance, this collection and then just add that video file path and then import it, re-import it. Got you. Just but, curious. But yeah, in this example, right, you have see that in two images assigned to this one listing all these listings and the last thing is the uh the data so all the data is mapped to the fields so get yeah, the idea, perfect like, for me who's been using my uh merch titans automation since like 2019 you know what i mean if i yeah. wanted to bring in everything and just use it as is like no brainer yep exactly so this uh this is still generating videos they are kind of slow we're hoping we can speed that up soon looks like uh almost half of them are done but while we wait, go to Dream AI. We forgive you. I'd rather have slow video than no video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I agree. It's pretty nice. I probably should have pre-generated some of those, but let's see. This is actually kind of cool. I'm gonna like Line art. Could this be like uh, coloring books in KDP? I haven't actually experimented with this. Um, technically, yeah. So line art is really good with creating illustrations and stuff like that. 
Uh, let's see if this does any good. Uh, let's try another one while we wait. Maybe I should change this back to base. Yeah. If you told it just out of curiosity, like it prompted it to only use black and white or, or something like that, would it? It does a pretty good job. It's not perfect, but yeah, in a lot of cases, it will follow your prompt pretty closely. Nice. So I'm trying to get it to do text. So it's actually getting, in some cases, you'll get some really good ones where it will generate text for you. It's like Las Vegas here. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's not perfect, but you get the idea that it's kind of, you get the text is getting better with these, these models now too. Cause it's like trying to, to create its own font. It looks like <laughs> instead yeah. of just like referencing some existing font. I think these are, these videos are done. So let's I'll show you. And again, you can just select these during the publishing process, just like you would select any custom mockup. So these are very basic and be short, but kind of has that transition effect. The different mockups we chose a little bit of a zoom effect and we're going to build a lot more templates, but, and again, it more, works better with eight to 10 mockups. That's that's how that works. Now we we also support videos, so you can drag and drop those into a file slot too. If you have your own videos, if you want to include with your listings, that's one way to do it. No, I love that though. I mean, again, like if you have a good mock-up, it's gonna people are gonna hover over and see the the video play of your mock-up. Like, what more do they really need to see? <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's perfect for the Etsy search page. Yeah, it really is. But yeah, that's kind of all the main things I wanted to cover today. I have a I have a couple other videos I'd love to do with you in the near future. Um and the big yeah, thing man, have, update video. <laughs> I think another thing to touch on is we have Printful that will be released this week. It's basically done. Uh, then we'll start adding a lot more products. We touched on that earlier. And uh, Shopify is basically done too. So we'll get that Shopify integration hopefully released within less than two weeks. Yeah, there we go, man. I can't wait to launch my uh, my initial idea was the the stock market shirts. <laughs> yeah. Go to the, the Shopify store for all those. I need to see if that's allowed to use like the stock tickers. I wanted to do that, but I also see like a, a very, like a strong lack of those shirts. So on, uh, on like Etsy and Amazon, I'm like, is that allowed? Is there a reason why they, they're not like more popular? So I don't know. Maybe no one's into trading stocks anymore. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> not as many people anymore. Yeah. But that's my, that, I'm waiting for that Shopify integration to go live, man. I can't wait for that. And um, everything else that you've done so far too, that you and your team have done is, is really incredible. So thanks for that. Yeah, appreciate it, man. And yeah, we're excited to get Shopify out. It took longer than expected, but also at the same time, we redid a lot of the infrastructure behind my design, especially when it comes to publishing products. So all that feeds right into Shopify. So when we do release it, it'll be a lot more polished. Nice. Well, hey, thank you for taking the time to uh, be here. And everybody who watched along till the end, make sure, I know a lot of you guys are already in my designs, but I've got the link at the top of the description to get started. Even though Curtis makes it look easy, it actually, it's because it is easy. <laughs> it's not just that he's, you know, a wizard in there. It's because it really is like, if you count the number of clicks required to do, to, to do what he just did, like go to use the AI tool and create the creatives from scratch and then get them mocked up, get the video mock-up done and list them. I guess we didn't go through the listing process, but again, it's about as simple as it could be. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very straightforward and it's getting easier too. But that's something we can touch on in a new video that we could probably go from actually AI generated images all the way to published on Etsy as a multi-product listing. I think that'd be a good video to do. Dude, it'd be insane. If you can find a way to condense that into like a 30 second or 60 second video, then that's how you'll get like the masses to sign up for my designs all at once. Cause they'll be like, wait, what just happened? <laughs> that, that'll, that'll be possible when we release our uh, product template feature. So just associate Dude. all the mockups with it. Just click a button and have everything generated and then go publish. There you go. Hey, and you're receptive to the community feedback too. That's another thing that yeah. like, you know what I mean? I think it's that your company isn't like some massive publicly traded company on the, you know, in the NASDAQ yet. Right. So, so you're actually receptive and integrating customer feedback. And that's one thing that like is rare these days. So I know I speak for like everybody that we appreciate that. So thanks. Yeah. I appreciate you guys too. And I actually love, I love seeing the feedback come in, man, whether it's positive or negative, it helps us. So we continuously improve the product based on everybody's feedback. And we do, we're always, I'm on the community spending hours a day, honestly, responding to people, helping people, and listening to feedback and I, and I love it. It's a big part of what I do. Yeah, man. Well, Hey, everybody check out my designs, join the community too. That's, that's a nice little compliment, basically like message boards, complimentary to using the software. Uh, you'll find that in there. Is it linked to from the primary navigation? Yeah, yeah, it is. Yep. Yeah. Okay. My designs usually just get the emails. <laughs> it's the same account. So you sign up for my designs, go to the community the first time and it just has you create the account, but it's linked to the same account. So, and it's, it's getting quite active. There's a lot of people, a lot of sellers in there. 
Awesome. Well, hey, Curtis, thank you for being here. And everybody watching, I do have a My Designs playlist like on my YouTube channel. If you click my icon like right underneath me, um, the first playlist should be like my My Designs playlist. One thing you'll notice is how far the software has come in a short period of time, but it does also kind of like walk through in baby steps initially and uh, then get you kind of running, you know, kind of where Curtis is at today, where you can jump into AI and, you know, basically get everything done in, in minimal clicks. So check yep. that out. That's the plan. Yeah, man. Well, thanks, Curtis. Yeah, thank you, Ryan. I appreciate you having me on.